Hi, this is Aaron with Zolotech, and today we're unboxing the Droid X. Uh, just got this from FedEx, from Verizon, and uh, let's go ahead and open this up here. I'm just covering the address so you can't see my address or the sender's address, uh, as I'm sure you understand. Let's go ahead and open this side here, and there we go. So, let's see what we have in here. A lot of bubble wrap, and the phone. There it is. So let's get rid of the box here. Let me set this over on the side, or on the floor rather. All right, so here we have the Droid X. There's the box. Let's go ahead and open it up. It's a little smaller than I expected. Oh, I'm sorry, it's on this side. Motorola, Verizon, Google. Um, let's go ahead and see what we've got here. So, inside the box, we can see that it is a little bit larger than we expect, or than, than it looks on the outside. Let's go ahead and take a look at the phone here. All right, so no battery, no back. Um, comes with a, a sticker on the front. And what it says here is this is the headset jack, power lock, uh, micro USB and HDMI, so that's pretty cool. Um, menu, home, back, search. There's a camera button right here. There we go. Uh, here we have volume up and down, and it's also zoom in and zoom out, it says. So there's the phone. Let's see what we've got in the box here. All right, so typical micro USB battery and let's see this is a uh, 3.7 volt battery and I don't see how many hours it is uh, China blah 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 oh 1500 milliamp hours so let's go ahead and open that and get that set in the phone here so pull do not cut that's to remove the battery this is for a micro SD it's got a 16 gig micro SD in there I don't know if you can see that uh, but there we have it and the battery goes in this way. There we go. Pretty much the dimensions of the uh, Evo. So here's our USB plug. Looks like your typical plug on the bottom. Micro USB in your plug. I'll save that for later. And then we have documentation getting started. Uh, getting started in Spanish. Consumer information and product safety and warranty guide. So let's go ahead and put these aside. And let's get this back put on. Nice metal construction. So there's the phone. Nice metal construction. Solid aluminum. And let's get this on the back here. Let's see, how does this go? Oh, I see. It's got a, like a nice rubberized feel. There we go. It just kind of clips in. It's got a nice rubberized feel. Let's take this off the front. And let's start it up. Motorola. Now, for size comparison, uh, just to be out, I have the new iPhone right here. There's the new iPhone. There's the Droid X to give you guys an idea of size. Uh, Droid X is considerably larger. And there it goes. It's turning on. You can see the yellow or the uh, yellow, the red droid uh, sign on the front or the eye or whatever you want to call that. And it's booting up, and there we go. So, what I'm going to do, this is pretty typical uh, for the droid or any Android phone, is the setup. Tap, activate. Okay, so it's going to make me listen to the instructions while it activates. I guess I could bring you guys through this. So I'll bring you through this since I can do that time wise. So we're just waiting. And we're still waiting. It's going to take a moment. It's going to activate, and this is typical Verizon, but for any of you that haven't seen this, I thought I'd bring you through this just to give you a time frame. Let's turn that down a little bit. That is a big phone. That's uh, Evo sized. Must be the same screen I'm imagining. 
I can always already tell that it's not as bright as the new iPhone 4 screen, uh, but that's not really a problem as the iPhone 4 is kind of in a class of its own right now. It's close to the or the Incredibles close, uh, but we'll we'll compare the Incredible as well. So now it's activated. Next. Uh, we'll skip how to use your droid because I know. So I'm going to go ahead and put all, set all this up. I'm going to get the Droid Incredible so we can or, uh, compare that and I'll be right back. So I've put in all my settings and here we have the Incredible right here, the Droid X and the iPhone 4. So the Droid X, uh, right off the bat, I want to tell you that I really like the typing on the, on the Droid X. Um, if we go to Browser, we put in a an address. If we go to uh, Zolotech, if it's pretty responsive here, we will go. Now I'm on Wi-Fi, and you can see speed-wise how it's going to do here. There we go. Pretty fast. Uh, not quite as fast as the iPhone 4, uh, but on Verizon, here we have the Incredible, and here we have the iPhone. So the Incredible, obviously, you can see is quite small compared to the Droid X, uh, just like the Evo is about the same size as the Droid X. Um, build quality, this feels really solid. It actually feels more solid than the, the uh, Incredible, I think. Up close, there's the screens. Actually, let me give you a better view here. There's the screens. Um, responsiveness is about the same. Let's go back to home here. Now I have to tell you, I'm not used to this. Home on the Incredible and most other devices is all the way to the left. On here it's the second to the left. And we have like a, your settings is all the way to the left on the Droid uh, X. So if we swipe, you can see speed wise, the, uh, the Droid X has kind of a little bit of a bounce here. Now for screen resolutions, I'm going to switch to macro here and show you. Uh, you can see the pixels in there. Let's compare it to the, uh, the uh, Incredible. There's the light from the camera. But you can see the pixels in here. The Incredible has a higher red screen, as does the iPhone, and I've already compared that. But just so you can see, not bad. So there's the droid. Let's switch back. There we go. There's the the Droid X, and uh, nice phone, uh, really quality feel. Uh, these are all defaults. It had me set up a backup assistant. Uh, build quality is quite nice. Let's go ahead and take a close-up look at the quality of this phone. So this has a nice rubbery feel on it. Uh, I don't know if this is a speaker or like noise-canceling speaker. But on the back, here's the side or top. This is your camera button, your volume up and down. This is your power on off and your headphone jack. Another little microphone. I'm assuming they're doing the noise cancellation thing like the iPhone 4, which is really nice. Here we have our charge port and our HDMI port. Oops, I'm sorry. Charge port, HDMI port. On the bottom, or rather, yep, the bottom. This must be your microphone over here. Or maybe... Yeah, I guess it is. So pretty nice on the back. It's got this nice curve, dual flash, 8 megapixel camera, uh, HD video. Really nice camera. This feels, or this phone feels really big though. I don't really know uh, if it'd be comfortable in the pocket, but it doesn't feel like you're going to drop it as much because you've got a lot to hang on to and you kind of have this lip to rest your finger in. I apologize for the camera there. You kind of have this lip to rest your finger in here, which is kind of nice. Uh, overall, I think the build is quite nice. It's a little bit lighter. It does not feel like it's all metal construction. It's pretty light for what it is. Uh, compared to the compared to the Droid, they're about the same weight. In fact, I almost want to say the Incredible might be a little bit heavier. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, next to you know next to the iPhone obviously a lot of people have them to give a size comparison you know you guys probably don't want to see that right now uh, so here's the two top uh, Android phones so we're gonna go a little bit more into depth in this um, pretty responsive I like the keyboard because of how big it is uh, flash I'm not sure I tried to go to flash.com and there's there's some videos let's go into the Microsoft video and see how quickly this loads here see what it does. Here's the video. 
see what happens if it plays right in the browser. No, it opens YouTube. So, I guess we can select high quality. So that's kind of nice. Uh, we'll take a little bit further look in this later. I want to use it for a little bit, get a better feel for it. Uh, but as any Android, you've got your phone options here. There's your big phone buttons. Pretty nice looking. I, I've always liked Motorola phones. There's contacts, and you can get to those. A little bit choppy over here, too, with that little person. And version on here. Uh, these were all the default apps. It has Need for Speed Shift on here. I don't know if that comes with it. Uh, it might just be something the reviewer or the uh, previous person that had this uh, at Verizon put on there. I'm not sure. Uh, but pretty nice. Uh, blockbuster. Uh, nice little setup. So we'll check back. Again, if you have anything specific that you want to see, and maybe you're not seeing on other reviews, please let me know. We'll take a nice in-depth look if you'd like. Uh, that's the Motorola Droid X. It comes out in a couple weeks. And, uh, you know, hope you guys uh, have some good questions for me as... Uh, you know, this there's the Android's kind of getting uh, not stale, but you see a lot of different handsets with it. So uh, these are the top two in Verizon right now. I I would say form factor wise, better for the pocket, better red screen, uh, easier to use for, and and almost a little better build quality. I think uh, both both I think are two hundred dollars on contract with Verizon for two years in a data plan. So uh, any questions? Like I said, please feel free to ask. Um, I don't really have anything more I want to show you right now, uh, and please check back. We're going to have a contest uh, coming up soon, too. This is Aaron with Zolotech. I'll see you next time.